are about to embark upon this. Uh, you are wonderful with those those utensils. Watch That's this. That's my nerves. Oh. Ah, I'm shocked. <laughs> okay. I caught it. Right it's, by the handle. It comes up. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I'm so excited. He's going to make for us, uh, Joe and Mary, of course, this is Mary's recipe, mm -hmm. the special Italian eggplant parmesan casserole. And maestro, well, any time you would like to begin. Florence, I'll go ahead and dig right into it. You start out with an eggplant. There it is. Through the magic of television, it's already peeled, which is great because Aren't that's the worst thing I do. Aren't you always surprised at how they look? Yeah. <laughs> eggplant always sounded something awful to me as a kid. Have some eggplant. Yuck. But yeah. It's kind of... Odd. Here we go. Right here, you've got a couple eggs all beat up. Right Poor there. eggs. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, here, you've got Italian breadcrumbs and flour mixed you, together. You Very simple. about beat up. I, I mean, we can just uh, proceed. But I read in your bio, when you were about 14 or 15 in Philadelphia, you got kind of beat up, and that's sort of what... Well, got you into the right kind of singing. Well, I realized that uh, getting beat up was not what I wanted to do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> so I started singing. I've been singing ever since. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. Thank God. Okay, well, this little mixture here, we start out by cooking the eggplant, which is sliced, by the way, like this. Mm -hmm. Peeled and sliced, about half inch slices. Half inch, Cover right. it up real good. I do it with my hands at home. I'll do it yeah, with my hands. Yeah, go ahead. Feel too. free. In the meantime, your oven is preheated over there to 400 degrees, and you've got your uh, pan here on about a good medium size. Heat. A little oil in there, probably. Lots of oil. Wesson Lots of oil good Wesson down. oil in there right. because you don't want these things to dry out for you. This yeah. is the process. Very simple. Two eggs. I'm do one for you with my Yeah. Fingers, Just go ahead okay. and slap all this stuff on. Italian breadcrumbs and flour right here, okay? Cook them three or four minutes to a golden brown. Again, don't let them dry out. One of the worst things that can happen to you. I think we'll go ahead and start making the casserole. These, through, again, through the magic of TV, are already cooked, as these are <laughs> cooking right now. So we'll make a layer. That's the magic of ginger, actually. And uh, it'd be nice to get this junk off my fingers yeah. now that I've been messing with it. You're not allowed okay. to do this till... Mm, that is cooking. a casserole dish. <laughs> you heard it here first. That Ooh. is a casserole dish. Put a layer of the eggplant on the bottom, just like that. The I love eggplant. the way he does it. He's kind of... Yeah, well, oh, I well, missed. Sorry. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Okay. One layer of the cooked eggplant. As you can see, they're cooking very nicely right uh -huh, here. They're they are. Starting to smell good, too. Get them nice and crisp. A little more crisp. of that stuff on there. Okay. I like that stuff on there. Okay. You've got your tomato sauce. Heavy-duty tomato sauce right here. Put about half of it on. There we go. Da-da-da. Mm. Little Italian music. <whistles> Home the theme from The Godfather. Ah, oh, yes. Love Italian da -da. Da -da. How do they do the mandolin? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Parmesan cheese. Be liberal with the Parmesan oh. cheese. I always am. <laughs> now, an extra little special thing here is this dried up minced onions. There's not very many here. I put a lot more than that on, but that's okay. Is dried there a reason you use dried up ones instead? Well, it comes real nice in a little package. You just oh, shake I them see. on there. Because my wife said it's real good. Oh, I see. <laughs> but anyhow, put a lot of that on there because it kind of soaks in and gives you an mm -hmm. oniony flavor. Now, this is real unique. This is your first layer, remember. This is chili powder, red chili powder. As a lot oh. of folks would say, red chili powder on top of an Italian dish. At home, we do lots of strange things like that. <laughs> but don't knock it till you've tried it. It really makes it taste real unique. In fact, that's part of the secret to this. Mm -hmm. Then, mozzarella cheese. A mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella. <laughs> I love mozzarella cheese. Oh. Just there you go. In the meantime, these guys right here should have been turned over, but oh no, they're oh, looking no, just they're right. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look Yay. At this. He can do two things at once. It's this amazing. is there. mozzarella. I'm always liberal with all this stuff. I use a lot of everything. Okay, then layer two. Here we go. More of this. Let's use the cook yeah, one. Yeah, use here. the fresh one. Always uh, make sure you get the grease out of these things because uh, grease is bad for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, dry them up a little bit. Put you another layer of your eggplant parmesan, of your eggplant, rather, the parmesan is the whole thing. <laughs> there we go, let's take another cooked one here, it's looking real good. By the way, for you vegetarians, this is a great vegetarian dish. My good friend Richard Sturban, who sings bass with the Oak Ridge Boys, oh, is, is a he, vegetarian. he is awfully cute. Yes, he is a very cute guy. He is. <laughs> And sings extremely low. He sings ex You know what? That always amazes me for a bass uh, to be as thin as he is. I mean, he's not a real he's big guy. He's going to be some big, gigantic fat guy. I, I always think a bass singer is going to be this, you know, gigantic fat guy, like Joe said. And, and he Richard... He's a unique talent. Richard Sturman is, is a unique talent. One of the real unique talents in our business, really. Nobody worth. sings like Richard. Nobody does, huh? Well, no, I don't think anybody sings like your whole group. No, we sound like us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of your tomato sauce goes on next. Okay. This is layer number two. 
too. Now, you don't have to put the onion in the chili powder on again. That's just basically in your first layer. But again, now you, you're very parmesan. liberal with the parmesan. Oh, you don't have to be this liberal with it. I love parmesan cheese. I do so. too, so be liberal. Like when I, mix I put it all on. Like Why not? <laughs> Last layer here of a mozzarella. Here we go. I don't think I've missed anything. Hey, Mayor, have I missed anything? Good. Okay. <laughs> we might there? even let you meet Mary later on. Would you like to? Oh, must be. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, uh, she can you cook. put this in the oven now and... It is time for this jewel right here to go in the oven that has already been preheated to 400 degrees. Uh-huh. For how long you, do you About keep 25, it About 25, 30 minutes. 25, Something like minutes. that. You mm -hmm. might keep an eye on it. 25 minutes is usually cool. Okay. Do I walk over there and put it in the oven? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> keep on trucking, Joe. Keep on trucking. Oven preheated to 400 degrees. 25 minutes. You got it. Okay. Now, what do you uh, serve that with? Oh, well... You got to start out with a nice Italian salad, hopefully, mm -hmm. and so you know, real nice. Go Italian all the way. Some garlic bread is real nice. A little, maybe a little red and, wine. Uh, a little red wine is perfect. It's, oh. uh, a really, you know, good red wine. Well, while you and, get all uh, that stuff together, I'm going to recap this wonderful recipe for you. Okay, Joe and Mary's special Italian eggplant parmesan casserole. You peel and slice your eggplant. You beat your eggs. You mix flour and Italian bread crumbs. You heat all over a medium heat. Then you preheat your oven to 400 degrees, dip eggplant in egg and flour mixture. You brown slices for three to four minutes per side, uh, eight at a time probably. You layer your casserole with eggplant slices, then a very liberal dose of Parmesan cheese, <laughs> spaghetti sauce, and mozzarella cheese, uh, kind of, uh, you know, in little shreds there. Then you sprinkle with dried minced onions and chili powder, which is a real secret ingredient. You layer your remainder of ingredients. You cook uncovered for 20 to 30 minutes in the oven. Serve with tossed salad and garlic bread, and probably a little red vino would be good, too. Yeah, uncovered is very important you don't cover it in there oh keep it uncovered okay uncovered. and two important. of your friends i know and two of mine are going to be here very shortly williams and reed to make some banana bread for us Woo!